Welcome back to the channel guys, it's your boy Christian aka the Ginger King here with another video. Today we're going to be working on the Subaru, we're outside in the cold and the rain. Um, I've got some more things coming, I've had this part for a while but it's always been pretty cold outside and it's been raining so I didn't want to work out in the cold. But today, you know, it's a little warmer and we are going to be putting on this part. So let me go ahead and show you what we're going to be doing. We're going to be messing with something right behind this little guy right there. And I never noticed how freaking small it was. And it is really dirty in here. Can't show you guys. It's parent. Um, but it's really dirty in here. I've had this part for a while and kind of just wanted to put it on because one so I got some news my car got keyed so I just got insurance to fix that um, and it looks really great like the new paint looks good and it's kind of just made me want to continue doing stuff to the car so you know I'll show you show you guys that first I'll show you the video of what it looked like when someone keyed it um, down from here on so pretty much this whole left side except for the mirror got painted um, so it looks great absolutely fantastic I do plan on doing this in the future doing the other side because you know it looks so good and this side it's got some dings and the quarter panel back here um, you know someone's hit my car several times with carts unfortunately but without further ado Let's get into what we're going to be doing. We've got a parent box here. I'm sure you guys already know what this is. It's your pitch mount. Got some paperwork here. All I care about is the stickers. Where are my stickers? I haven't even seen it yet. It looks. Oh, yeah. From what it looks like on the internet and the stock one, this thing's actually pretty beefy. It's not that heavy, probably like five pounds, maybe three something like that um, anything else where are my stickers where are my stickers all I want is the stickers they got some lube in there I don't see stickers am I not important I guess I'm just not important but uh, give me a second we'll set this up and I'll show you how to take off your intercooler and uh, do a little test drive with that bad boy Alright, so for this install, you pretty much just need a ratchet set, which I, in fact, do have. Well, uh, I just, um, did a, a big mistake here, guys. Um, um, so I get bypass valve ho hose off this, I get, you know, this untightened, and then I come over here, and I'm like, okay, I can't get, can't get this untightened, because... I don't have a wrench to get down there, so I'm like, okay, I'll just worry about that later. So I come over here to this side where the turbo side is to um, get the bolts, which are 12 mil, I believe, off. And you can see, I'm like, wow, why is this so tight? Um, as are the other other ones over there. They were super tight. I couldn't couldn't get them off. That's why I stopped fooling with them like that. I couldn't get off. I figured, you know, okay, I don't have a wrench to go underneath here to get it off, so I'll take these two bolts off. Um, couldn't get those off because they were so damn tight, so I was like, okay, well, let's switch over here. And voila, there she is. She's sh uh, she's gone. She's uh, sheared off. She's a she's a goner. So. Um, yeah, that's going to be a major issue there. That's a big, big old issue, um, because now that's got to be drilled out, and a new bolt's got to be put in there. So that's not fun. Um, so we'll see. Well, everybody, I'm still super disappointed. Um, so I pretty much got everything apart, except for this drill bit or I've got to get a drill bit that would work to drill this out I'm a little nervous because it's on the turbo but uh something I'm actually learning in school right now is to do this so 
Um, we've got everything out, intercooler is pretty much um, these two bolts on the turbo, um, taking off the bypass valve hoses, um, that, that, and then I took off these two bolts just because I couldn't get underneath to grab this because it was just going to keep turning, so I took off those two, um, just sitting right there, and then there is going to be, oh, look at that. Someone was under here, uh, so I guess my the previous owner to this car, because this is a STI one, it says it right there, so I'm assuming they came under here and maybe tightened the hell out of it, because um, this is a STI one, and yeah, I don't understand if they did the trouble to buy the STI one, why wouldn't they get this and put it in there, pull this out and pick me up another bolt, 12 mil, um, so 12 mil, 12 mil, and then pretty much you just need like a screwdriver or a flathead, sorry, to get your clamps off, um, and then you're pretty much good. And then, you know, that's pretty simple, just get the bolts off and lube it up with some oil they provide you with, or some lube, whatever, and pop it in and you're good to go. But Still a little peeved because of this, but we'll see. All right, everybody got the pitch mounts uninstalled. So the first bolt's 14. Um, don't need an extension for it. Next one's still a 14 as well. Um, I found best thing to use is an extension. Same thing with when you're taking out your turbo bolts. Use an extension for it. Helps out a lot because you can't really get in there. But uh, Let's look at the comparison. This thing is so much beefier. Um, and I went with Perrin because of the reviews. Went online, looked at all the reviews, and these were, you know, pretty much 90% all good when, you know, Cobb and Mishimoto or some of the other ones, Kuzco, I looked at just didn't have really good reviews. Um, this was pretty solid in comparison. It's just so much more beefier. Um, so hopefully this fixes kind of the issue I've been having when I pull from, you know, stops or um, just downshift and do a pull or something. I can feel a lot more of the engine roll whenever I'm driving and kind of hear it too. So hopefully this um, takes care of that issue. But I don't really see any big like concerns that I should have about this. I mean, it looks pretty good. The bushings seem fine. Like there's not really a lot of play in it. So, patient that it comes with. So we're about to put this bad boy in and uh, test drive it and see how it goes. You know guys, I'm out here slaving away. And this is exactly why I didn't want to work on my car when it's cold outside because I'm freezing my ball sack off. It's 45 degrees outside right now. It's raining, it's cold. I'm cold, um, if I didn't say that already. But here's what it looks like. Looks pretty solid, looks good. Um, I like it, it looks a lot better than that. Little grimy little thing. Um, only thing I would say is the torque specs for it. Um, I would just go off that, that's gonna be the best thing you can do. Um, here it is, oop. Um, it says 37, oop can't see because it won't focus 37 for the front bolt and 43 foot pounds for the rear bolt so there you have that and then you just put everything back together um, and then you got your new parent pitch stop mount install going on and I will give it a test drive and let you guys know what I think of it um, looks great I like how it looks a whole lot better than what was there before looks a lot beefier so I feel like there's going to be a major difference but um, we'll see. What's up guys? So for a couple of days now uh, everything feels great. Love the Perrin pitch mount. Um, it's awesome. I guess obviously mine was going out because it's a huge difference in what it felt like, how the car drives. I'm super happy with it. Uh, one to five stars. Definitely gets five for me. Um, highly recommend this. Uh, if you're working on your car or just getting a Subaru or anything like that, I would say this is one of the first things you should do, definitely. Um, makes a huge difference.
difference from my perspective. Mainly how the car drives feels, feels so much better, um, stiffer, just, you know, more responsive in general. So I love it, highly recommend again. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I uh, appreciate all the support that you provide. Y'all have a good one.